Hey guys, it's DIY Rye, and today we're going to be making a pom-pom rug. Let's get started. So today what you're going to be needing is some yarn and some scissors. Let's go. Okay guys, so first you're going to want to get the end of your yarn. And so I like to put one part between my pinky and wrap it around three fingers. And you're going to want to wrap it around a lot, as big as you want your puffballs to be. I wrap mine pretty big, so I'll show you how about how big mine get. Okay, guys, so mine got about this big. It's not that big, but it's a nice size. So then you're going to want to cut it right here. Okay. And then you're going to want to slide it off your fingers, but make sure to still keep that hole. Then I like to just put it on one of my fingers just to hold it. Then you find the end of your yarn, and you cut a piece of string. You slip it through the hole. Pull it. Okay. Then tie it off. You have to like pull it really tight. I like tie it a few times just to make sure it stays. And then it's kind of like a ball, but you can still tell what parts of the holes. Then you're going to want to hold the holes. Then cut this top part. And it looks fluffy. And then put it together to make it look even more like a puffball. Tie it around with some more string, and I'll show you guys when I'm done. So I just tied the bottom off to give it a little more puff. And if you want to, you could make sure they're all the same size by just cutting off some extra string. And yeah, so I'm going to make about 20 more of these, and yeah, I'll show you guys when I have them all made. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I did um, five so far. One, two three, four, five. Uh, I think I'm going to do about five more, maybe ten more. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll check in when I have ten. So guys, I finished making them. I made nine, not ten, because I kind of wanted to make a smaller rug. And I forgot to tell you guys that um, you have to heat up a hot glue gun for this craft. So I was heating mine up while I was making these. So yeah, let's get started putting all the pieces together. Okay guys, what I'd like to do is I start with the first row. Mine's just three. So I'm gonna hot glue all three of these together in a row. So remember to be very careful with the hot glue and just put some on the first yarn. Then put the other one next to it and those should stick together. And then on the second middle yarn, for me, you put more hot glue. Okay, then you stick the third one on, and that's our first row. And if you wanted to, you could put some hot glue on the bottom just to ensure that they don't fall off. I'm going to do that. So yeah, then they'll all stay together. Okay, now I'm going to do the next two rows, and I'll show you guys when I have them all, the three rows done. Okay guys, so... I finished hot gluing all three of my rows together, and now we're going to hot glue them in a big row. So on the first one, just like the little ones, you just put hot glue on one of them, and you're going to want to put a little more hot glue because these are bigger, and then put them all together. Squish those two together, and I'm going to come back for a second layer of hot glue for all the other parts of the puff balls. But I'm just going to start off with these just so they can stick. And so this craft, um, I used about two hot glue sticks. I'm on my second one right now. But I think it's totally worth it. And you guys can obviously make these bigger. But yeah. So I'm just going to hot glue the rest of this together. Just to make sure it all sticks. And if you guys try this at home, it is very fun. But I would recommend it for kids who know how to use a hot glue gun, and who can have patience to make all the puff balls. Yeah. 
I think this looks really cool when it's all finished. So I'll show you guys when I'm finished. And yeah, thank you. Okay, guys, so I finished. And here's the final product. It's really cute. It's so soft. And uh, yeah, I think it's really nice craft. So thank you, my guys, for watching. Remember to comment down below new video ideas and if you tried this craft and how it went. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm. DIY.